Hey ladies, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a great one. And um, real quick, I'm going to share this into my Facebook group. So if you'll just give me just a second today, we're going to be talking about how if you love your tummy, it can actually help you heal your diastasis. Okay, so this isn't your normal, um, okay, this is the exercise, the magic exercise that you're looking for, okay? I really believe that this is going to be um, one of the most important things you need to start with, okay? So hang on just a minute. I'm almost done. This is for my mama's infant tablets mom's club. That way they don't ever miss anything, okay? All right, so I'm going to pop in here. Okay, so I hope the my connection's okay. I look a little blurry from my end, so um, let me know if you can hear me. Um, I think it's going to be okay. Anyway, so I just wanted to talk about today just loving your tummy because a lot of the moms that come to me, when they decide they know there's something wrong with them, there's something wrong with their tummy, it's not looking the same, it's pooching out, and all they can think about is their tummy. What are they going to do? It gives them anxiety. Um, they wake up thinking about it. They go to bed thinking about it. When they're sitting down, when they're around people, they're thinking about it. Um, are they going to ask me if... Um, Okay, I'm glad you can hear me. I don't know why I'm blurry. It shouldn't be. Um, let me do something real quick. Hopefully this will help. I don't know if it will, but it could be that my little girl is actually um, watching a video, but that shouldn't be because I you know, always let her watch a video <laughs> when I am on here. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, but anyway, they just they're consumed by this thought of their belly and you know is that what everybody's looking at when they're in public is somebody and I ask them when their due date is and and I totally I get that I understand being obsessed about your body okay I haven't dealt with the diastasis like other women have I haven't really dealt with that um, I dealt with the lower back pain and leakage that can go along with it but I know what it's like to be consumed with something. And um, the best thing to do when you're consumed with something is take a deep breath and try not to be consumed by it, okay? Because it's not going to help you. So let's talk about why loving your tummy is actually going to help you heal your diastasis. And you're going to hear me say this over and over and over again. OK, um, number one, it creates stress in your body. If you've been following me for a while, you know stress in your body is going to create cortisol levels to bump up. OK. And then um, when that happens, you can get a you're going to hold on to belly fat and that belly fat's going to push more on your diastasis. So you've got to learn to not be consumed and stressed about this. OK, so some of the best ways and I took some notes when I was actually I was laying in bed this morning and it's just popped into my head. And these are some of the notes that I took for you today. OK, so you've got to. OK, hang on one second, I think. All right. I'm just looking at comments. OK, ah, this blurriness is bothering me, but I think I'm getting better now. OK, so. Honestly, I like to talk about our belief system first and foremost is because this is how our everything goes. First, we um, believe, think something and then we believe it and then we take action. So let's talk about if you are actually sitting here thinking about your stomach and it's awful. OK, what are the thoughts that you're going to, you know, the beliefs you're going to have about yourself and how you're going to feel about yourself. OK. And so what that ends up doing is giving you anxiety, thinking I've got to change something right now. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. And then you find a program that you love or a program that you think you might love or whatever. And and you're so consumed by it. And you're like, OK, I've got to do this. So you're looking at quick change, quick change, quick change. I've got to get this done now. And so and you still haven't let go of the anxiety of it all. And 
you go into this program and thinking a week at two weeks, I'm not seeing the results. I'm just, what ends up happening is you quit because you're not calm about this. You're not loving yourself. You're not loving your belly. And um, I know you're not going to like it, but let me, I'm going to talk to you about what happens when you can sit there and say, I, I love my body. I love who I am. I love where I'm at right now. And I'm going to take care of it right now. I'm going to take care of it. Um, and I'm going to nourish it and I'm going to get healthy. And you're going to look at this as a long term lifestyle change of taking care of your body physically, spiritually and emotionally. And yes, that can include loving your tummy, because if you're so obsessed about this, you're not going to get where you want to go. And this whole thing of thinking, OK, I need to change my lifestyle, but I want to that's not what I want. I, I'm so consumed about this. I've got to get it changed right now. OK, that's not ever going to get you anywhere. And you're going to hop from program to program to program, hoping for the next best thing. And that's not what's going to happen. OK, I promise. Find somebody you love, somebody find somebody that um, that your personalities kind of mesh you you maybe you don't like my southern twang but that's who i am okay and um i'm gonna be real with you that's who i am find somebody who you can relate to to learn from okay and stick with them so and then just okay so some things that you can do in the morning is or first of all the first thing you can do is <laughs> Okay, well, hey, you're going to love your belly, okay? Um, I'm going to teach you how to love your belly, okay? Because honestly, you can change your mind and you can change your thoughts because um, faith believes, you know, and then it sees. Did you hear that? Faith believes and then it sees. So what are you going to believe about your belly? First of all, you're going to love it. Are you going to believe that you can change it? Are you, even if you don't see the changes yet, are you going to believe it? Oh, oh, hey, hey, Vicki, I'm glad you love my accent. Are you going to believe this? Okay, because once we can believe that actually change can happen, it's going to happen. It's just going to happen. You're going to believe it and then you're going to see it. Because once you get your body ready to believe all this, your body is going to start taking the steps and it's going to want to take those steps because that's how we were created. OK, we believe and then we see. So I really want you to think about what you're believing about your tummy. What are you believing? Are you believing that it can get healed? Are you believing that it's just too hard? Are you believing it's not worth it? OK, um, if you are, you've sabotaged yourself. You're not even going to get to you're not going to get to see. You're not going to believe because the, and you're not going to see because you're not believing. OK, so and y'all heard me say this over and over, too, is um as a man thinketh, so is he. So what are you thinking? What are the what are you thinking about yourself? So anytime you get a negative thought in your head about I'm sorry, I'm first of all, I'm so sorry, I'm blurry. I I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Maybe if I move it a little bit this way. No, probably not. That's okay. Um I just don't want you to dwell on that thought. Okay. And it's just gonna if if you have to do this a hundred times a day. OK, and this can go with anything in your life. But I want to talk about bellies and tummies right now, because this is what I help women with. I help you to love your tummy again. OK, and when you're dealing with diastasis, there's a lot of stuff. It's going to be emotional for you. But what I want to teach you is what I'm teaching you now. You can take this step with everything in life. So when you have this thought, this negative thought come in your head, oh, this stomach of mine, I look pregnant. It's never going to change. I, I want you to stop it right there because we have I like to think of it. We have a conscious mind and we have a subconscious mind. OK, our subconscious mind believes it literally literally believes everything our conscious mind is thinking. OK, so let your conscious mind be the gatekeeper and say you're not getting back there and I'm not going to believe these thoughts about myself. So you just you can say no. I'm going to love my belly and I love my belly. I'm, I love my body and I love my belly and I'm going to take care of myself because I love myself because I love my belly. I am thankful for my belly. You start saying those things when a negative thought comes up. And if this is really hard, you need to take it into a visual. 
Okay, you need to start taking it into a journal and, and write down that negative thought. And I want you to physically see yourself crossing that thought out and then writing the um, positive thoughts. OK, you can do this with every negative thought you have about yourself. OK, um, but then take it a step further. And I want you to start saying like in the mornings when you wake up, if you have quiet time in the mornings, what, whatever, if you do meditation, whatever you do, um, I, instead of before the negative thought comes, start thinking and saying, I am thankful for my body. I am thankful for my belly. I'm thankful that my body helps take care of me. I think, you know, that I'm strong. Whether you believe this or not, I want you to go ahead and start saying these things so that you believe it. OK, your brain, your subconscious mind will actually start believing this. And then what happens is, is your body starts taking the steps to heal itself. Um, you're going to hear me over and over. I'm going to get on here and I'm going to speak mindset to y'all. I don't know how often this is so important because I believe that's where it um, starts. OK. I don't know, Brie just like dropped something. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, we are uh, spirit, mind, body. You cannot separate them. You, we, we can't separate them, okay? And on the top of the totem pole, in order to heal our bodies is getting our minds right, getting our thoughts right about ourselves, okay? Um, and, and honestly, how can we um, – that's right, Sandra. You're going to speak it into existence. You're going to call those things out that be not as though they are. That's right. You're going to do that. And – you may not see changes overnight, but what happens if you don't ever take those steps? OK, what happens if every single day you wake up believing the same thoughts about yourself, the same thoughts about your tummy? Are you actually going to change? Are you going to get to where you're going? Are you going to be a victim? Or are you going to be a victor? OK, um, little Cassandra right here that popped on, she has come a long way and she hasn't done everything perfect. OK, she's had to she's fallen off because of her kids and the timing and her situations in life. And but I've seen her continue. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. It's about being as consistent as you can. And so be consistent as you can with your thoughts, with your beliefs. I'm telling you, I don't want to hear. I want I want you to start popping into this group and saying, I love my tummy. You start you can start journaling in the Facebook group. You can start saying, I love my belly. You start speaking the good things about yourself and you can encourage the other women in here because we have such negative self-talk and that is not going to change us. We're just going to stay. Blech. OK, so you start changing your mind. Um, what are the notes that I did? Um, taking care of your core and your tummy because you love it, not because you hate it. Because um, when you love something, you want to take care of it. You want to take care of what you love. OK, when people work out just because they can't stand their body, that's not going to get them permanent change. OK, they may change for a little while, but that's not going to get you permanent change. What's going to get you permanent change is a lifestyle change and thinking, I want to be healthy. I want to take care of myself. And you're going to be an example to your kids, too. Right. So and maybe your spouse failing forward. That's what Cassandra said. That's right. So um, so I just put in a negative mind will never get you to where you want to go. Let the weak say I am strong. OK, if you're weak, why are you saying you're strong if you're feeling weak? It's because you're going to stay weak and you're going to constantly feel that way if you never start saying, I'm strong, I'm powerful. Start loving yourself. OK, it's it. Everything starts there. If you heard my uh, talk with my nutritionist uh, the other day, she said on the top of the totem pole is a mindset, even with nutrition, with some of the stuff that you see. Nutrition. I talked about my husband and how he's not great at nutrition, but he is not stressed and he loves himself. <laughs> he really does. So I've learned a lot from him. But your food even digests better when you're not stressed. And if you're stressed about this, you know, I want you just to relax and just start writing the things you love about yourself, even if you don't. Even if you don't, I want your subconscious mind to hear it. 
because I want it to believe it because I promise your body's going to want to start taking t uh, steps to take care of it. OK, um, so like I said, it just, change starts with thought. It starts with a belief. And then in that belief, your body starts taking action for it. OK, your hopelessness about a problem. Listen, 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 listen. Tune in. I want you to hear this. Your hopelessness about a problem is a bigger problem than a problem, than the problem. OK, don't let your hopelessness get so big, OK, that it's bigger than that problem. So I wanted to come on here and encourage you because still the number one thing that I always ask women, what is your number one issue with healing diastasis is I've heard it can't be healed. Can it really be healed? OK, I've seen with my own eyes diastasis being healed, okay, for my clients. But they are the ones, who are the ones that I see the healing on? And, and let me ask you, what's healing look like to you? You know, I want you to think about that. When you're healing your tummy, are you wanting, are, is, are you wanting a six pack abs in, in eight weeks, okay? So I guarantee you, when you see these women who have six pack abs, OK, either they're young women, OK, they never had kids or they are the mesomorph body type because every woman and every man has a different body type that they really don't have to do anything to get that body type. OK, um, and or their hormones are so out of whack because they are killing themselves to get the way that they look. <laughs> women are supposed to have a little bit around their bellies just because we're women. But I know you don't want to look pregnant, but I also don't want you to have an unrealistic, unrealistic expectation. OK, so think about what right now, what's going to make you happy in a week from now, a realistic expectation. What's going to make you happy in a week from now, two weeks from now? three weeks from now and on and on and on. OK, break them into doable steps for you. OK, some of you have bought my program to help heal diastasis. If you have and you've fallen off the wagon, start over. OK, start over. Post in the Facebook group and let me know. I'm starting over. I fell off. I'm starting over and I'm going to start over because I'm a, I love who I am. I love my tummy and I'm going to take care of it. And that's what I'm doing. And if you are too busy to take care of yourself, then you're too busy. You have got to take care of yourself. Even if it's 10, 15, 20, I always tell them, give yourself, please give yourself 30 minutes a day. Please do that for yourself. Okay. Um, and I don't know what that self care is going to look like. That doesn't mean you have to work out five, six, seven days a week and work out two hours a day. Okay, good. Errol. I'm glad you're starting over, but I want to know why are you starting over? Okay, why are you starting over? So anyway, I want you to start with your mindset first and believing you can do this, believing it can get healed. Okay, you're going to speak this thing out. You're going to believe that you can change. You're going to believe that you can get healed. Okay. You're going to start there. I want you to start believing about how you love yourself and love your body, love your tummy to start nourishing it, taking care of it, healing your core and look at it as it's a lifestyle. And it's not like, oh, my gosh, I, I finished this eight weeks and I didn't get the exact goal that I wanted to get. So um, what did Cassandra just say? I always place in my mind that it'll take nine plus months to fix it because it took nine plus months to cause the diastasis. So that's awesome, Cassandra. I love it. However, I'm going to tweak what you said just a little because diastasis can um, start even before pregnancy. OK, Sandra's starting over. Yay. OK. Hi. And um, say hi. Say, I have funny looking boots on. You have funny looking boots. Do you want to show them your boots real quick? Okay. In here? Oh, here, we'll hold them up. Are they cowboy boots? Boots. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, ladies, y'all can do this. I just want to encourage you here because everybody wants the next. What's the magic exercise? What's what? What can I do? OK, please start here. That I, that's what I want you to do. 
And just so you know, I have, if you want to work with me and my team, and you'd be interested in working with us to help heal your diastasis, go ahead and you can book a call with us. And it's oliviacagle.com forward slash apply, A-P-P-L-Y. I'll try to put it in the comment section here. And if anything, I can get on the phone with you and I can help give you clarity of where you need to be. Okay. So I'm trying to find the link. This is a whole new broadcast thing for me. So it's not easy for me to find everything, but that's okay. I will. Oh, I found it again. I had a hard time the other day. So ladies, I'm so glad that you've been on here and I know y'all are going to encourage. I believe in y'all. I know that you can change. I know that you can do this, but it does. It's going to, it's going to do, it's going to make a world of difference for you to sit here and say that you can love your body. Okay. That you can, um, let me see. So Cassandra said, I must say, I saw and felt results from your program in um, three weeks. Okay. So she did. Ladies, I've had some women that have seen uh, progress in one week. But you know what? Just like um, just like when you're in a weight loss program, have you ever noticed how you feel like you can take um, one step forward and two step back? Or then you hit a plateau. It's the same thing with healing your diastasis. That's why you have to make it a journey because you have to think, okay, what have I done? What do I need to do? Okay, maybe you need to tweak something for you. Maybe that's what you need to do. I don't know. You have to kind of look at it. Maybe you aren't getting enough sleep. Maybe you're not drinking enough water. Maybe you're not nourishing your body enough. Maybe you're not practicing correct alignment all the time. Maybe you're not, um, maybe you're sitting too much in a slouched position. Okay. Maybe you've stopped doing the breathing homework as much. And maybe you've started learning how to do your um, core engagement when you move or when you work out it's a habit that we have to create, right? So these are just some things that I'm thinking about right now <laughs> that pop into my head. So you just never know. But anyway, I would love to chat with you to see if me and my team would be a good fit for you. Um, I I have brought on a uh, pelvic floor physical therapist, a nutritionist, and a mindset coach that her and I do mindset together all the time because um, – I know that mindset's going to be one of the biggest things to get you through where you need to go. Okay. So um, post in the Facebook. I love all the stuff that you said, Cassandra and Arabella. I'm so glad that you are going to be starting over. Y'all can do it together and um, just post, you know, whichever Facebook group you want. Um, Cause I think you're both in you're in both Facebook groups, but you can say, Hey, I'm starting over and this is why. So I want you to tell me why. OK, and if you don't know why yet and if you're not loving who you are yet, take a minute and um, just think about that for a little bit. Kind of meditate on that. OK, ah, Vicki, I miss you, girl. I miss you. So anyway, y'all have a good day. I hope this encourages you and I will talk to y'all soon. I'm going to bring um, my other teammates on and we're going to do videos together so you can meet them, too. OK. All right. Bye.